Hello, this is John from GED Math Lessons, and I want to talk about um, a key math tip when you're taking uh, the GED exam. Okay, and right here, you can see I have it in this box, is look at the answers. <laughs> so you're saying, well, that's great, you know, what, is, what does that mean? So let's go ahead and talk about uh, this. So once again, uh, I'm John from GEDMathLessons.com. And if you haven't heard of uh, uh, my site, it's a free uh, video-based math course, very comprehensive, very, very effective and successful, um, and growing quite rapidly, I might say, um, since I launched it, um, helping people pass a GED. So anyways, uh, let's go right to this tip and what I'm talking about. So here I kind of made an example question up. And you may not see questions exactly like this on a GED, but uh, you'll, you'll understand the point. <clears throat> so in a multiple choice uh, format, which the, the new GED format is, you, you're going to get some uh, various questions. Matt, and I'm only speaking about math here. Um, and it might be something like this. So here it is. What is the solution to the equation? So I have this big intimidating equation. <clears throat> and you're saying to yourself, well, wow, you know, what, what do you, how would you approach this? So actually, I'm going to pause here for a second, give you about five seconds to think about it. How, how would you approach this question? <clears throat> so probably a lot of you would be thinking, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, initial reaction to it. We're like, well, you know what, do I know how to do this question? Do I know how to solve this type of equation? So those of you out there are like, yeah, I think I know how to solve it. You might start doing some work here and you might kind of go through it. And that's great. But you know what? That's not that's not necessarily the best way to approach this. Okay, so um, because there's risk in that. What what if you don't know how to solve this equation? You just kind of spend some time, you know, and you're like, well, you know, I think I think I'm doing it right. I don't know. Listen, this particular um, math tip is look at the answers, and it's very important. So these questions are often structured where you know they want to know if you have good test taking strategy so that the idea here is hey remember with the GED listen the, the 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 goal is for you to pass okay it's not like hey to demonstrate whether you know something about equations not from my perspective and I'm a math teacher my mission is for you to pass the exam so you can get your GED and move on to bigger and better things so we wanted to earn points right on and get this uh, question answered correctly how you do that is neither here or there as long as you have a good strategy so let's take a look at this tip so here without even knowing what how to you know approach this or start working this equation out I'm gonna look at the answers now in mathematics the answers often you know give us uh, a lot of clues especially especially in equation problems so before I can demonstrate this here I just want to show you very quickly okay in in mathematics when you have an equation and I'll write a simple equation here 2x equals 8 okay in mathematics the left hand side of the equation this part will always equal the value of the right hand part so whatever this represents 2 times x okay that left hand value must be equal to this right hand value in this case it's 8 okay and uh, the variable represents the value that actually makes that happen. So let me ask you, I'll ask you this almost as a riddle, 2 times x, remember x represents some number, so let's phrase it this way, 2 times some number is 8. 2 times some number is 8. So you kind of think about it like, well, let me see here, 2 times, oh, maybe two, 4, right? Yeah, so 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 equals 8, and the left-hand side equals the right-hand side when x was equal to the value of 4. Okay, so um, maybe uh, many of you out there probably say, yeah, yeah, I understand that. Great, so what's, what's, my, what's my point? Well, you know, let me hold on here because some of you out there may not have understood, uh, understood this. Okay, so in an equation, really, what we're asking here is, hey, what value of x, when I plug it in right here and here, will make this whole left-hand side equal to 14? You follow what I'm saying? So what value of x, when I plug it in to, 
to this part of the equation and this part of the equation. We'll make the uh, make it all equal to 14 on the left hand side. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, if you let's say you don't have any idea how to solve this equation. And by the way, this is a quadratic equation, and it would require a pretty good level of algebra knowledge to solve this equation properly. But what I can do is just plug in these numbers. This is the math tip. If I have an equation and I have my one of these are the, is the correct answer, all I need to do is check. So let's start with negative 3. Okay, so I'll plug it in. And when I plug it in, I want to use parentheses. So I'm going to plug it into the equation and just check. So it's going to be 4 negative 3 squared minus uh, minus 3 equals 14. So I'm going to start doing the math here, and I'm going to see if this is going to, you know, to work. So I go, okay, negative 3 squared, I have to do that first, is negative 3 times negative 3. And hopefully um, uh, you're at the point where you kind of understand, okay, a negative times a negative is a positive. If not, don't worry about it. Come on over to GED Math Lessons. I'll teach you everything you need to know. But let's, let's kind of go back over here for those of you who do know. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So this is going to be 4 times 9 minus a minus 3 is the same thing as a positive 3. And once again, if you don't if you don't quite understand this or remember this, don't worry. Come on over to GD Math Lessons. I'll teach you what you need to know. Okay, so here, clearly, I'm going to get 36 plus 3. This is not, they're not, the left hand side is not going to equal to the right hand side. There's no way. And some of you might have recognized that when you, when you plug it in, like, nah, there's no way that the left hand side is going to end up being 14. So let's scratch that, scratch A as, um, as a possible um, solution. It's not going to work. So that's that's good. This is a process of elimination. Let's move on to 10. So it's going to be 4 times 10 squared, right? I'm going to plug in 10 everywhere I see x in the equation. Minus 10 equals 14. And I'm right off the bat, I'm saying to myself, there's no way this is going to work out either because 10 squared is 10 times 10 or 100. So this is 4 times 100 minus 10. I mean, it's 400 minus 10. No way is that going to be equal to 14. So that's gone too. And the, th the idea here also is you don't have to completely finish, you know, all of this out. If you recognize pretty immediately that, you know, the left-hand side is not going to equal the right-hand side, then just move on, right? Because, we you know, time is of the essence uh, on the GED. So now let's go and check um, uh, 2, x equals 2. So I go 4 times 2 squared minus 2. Does that equal 14? So I got 2 squared, which is 2 times 2, that's 4. So I have 4 times 4 minus 2. And this kind of looks promising. I'm like, okay, maybe this, this looks like this might work out. So that's 16 minus 2. Is that the same thing as 14? Yes, yeah, 16 mi minus 2 is 14. So 14 equals 14. Wow, good to go. Okay, so this is my solution. Now, that's awesome, right? Because over here, if for those of you who said, Wow, I know this is a quadratic equation. I think I remember how to do this. Let's see, 4x squared minus x equals 14. There's any number of different complicated ways, or eh, I don't want to say semi-complicated ways to solve this. You could factor out x here, would leave you with 4x uh, minus 1 equals 14. And then you kind of have to go through, uh, set up two different equations, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're, you know, you're under the, pressure thinking how do I solve these things you know you stop before you take on any um, question in a GED you need to stop think about what is the question asking me and do the answers can I use the answers in a process of elimination to get um, to pick the correct choice and that's what it's that's what it's about you know really this is about you passing the GED well listen um, if you know some of the things I was saying uh, you know you know, you didn't quite understand, especially with the, the negative numbers, positive numbers, the square, etc. Please come on over to gedmathlessons.com. Uh, totally free video-based course uh, done by myself, uh, John Zimmerman. Uh, top middle school all the way through high school have math degree etc etc but the the great thing about this is this site's been running for a couple years i've literally gotten uh, a massive amounts of emails thank you so much i passed a ged and it, 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 I, it just thrills me when i hear people that actually took the time in a comprehensive uh, way and 
and you know built their math skills up I mean there's really no cheating it you can't cheat the system if you don't understand math that well that doesn't mean you can't uh, get to a point where you do have those math skills it's really up to you okay but I'll, um, I'm happy to uh, help you along the way so hopefully this little um, uh, tip you'll remember when you take on the GED and definitely you can pass okay so hope to see you at GEDMathLessons.com have a great day